Rose Class Breakout. Why does this always happen to me, Fang? <laughs> Not the sock's fault. Or is it? Nope, nothing. Come on, Fang, we're done here. Hold on! Henry! What? Aren't you happy that I've sorted all the socks? Well, I can stop sorting if I'm not doing it properly. <sighs> all right then, Henry. Thank you very much. Can I? Yes, all right. I'll call when tea's ready. Look, no hands! Henry! Henry, what's this? It's a sock. That's right, Henry. A sock. And where do you think I found it? Um, at the bottom of the laundry basket? Underneath all the other socks. That's right, Henry. Yes! So? So where's the other one? The other what? The other sock, Henry. Oh, for goodness sake. I was watching that. Not anymore, you're not. No more TV for you until you find the other sock. What's that? And now it's time for Number Notes Detectives. How should I know? Oh, not much of a detective, are you? Oh, so sorry to disturb you. Chrissy Polly, vomiting Vera and the number gnomes. Could things get any worse? Apparently, they Turns out Chrissy Polly had an emergency situation. It's an emergency situation. Really, it is. <laughs> the beauty salon said they could fit me in if I went right away. <laughs> My mum said I could do with a little helper. <sighs> <laughs> Henry. Ooh, look, lettuce and cucumber. Ooh, and tomatoes. Right, we need the picnic blanket. Oh, I'll get it for you, Dad. And I'll pack the picnic. <laughs> Right. Picnic blanket. Check. Picnic bag. Got it, Dad. You're supposed to say check. Check. Worm. Sun umbrella. Ugh. Oh, I left that in the kitchen. Oh, get it, Dad. Dad says, do 
did you want to take the tiddlywinks in case we get bored later? I'm bored already. And no, I do not want to take the tiddlywinks. Oh, is that a tomato? What? Uh, oh, that. Mmm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Go on. Chew. I am chewing, Bum. Hurry up, boys. Coming, Dad. Ugh, what a wormy worm! Henry! Come on, Dad! Here, Henry. Let me take something. Hey, smelly nappy baby. You can carry something too. I am carrying something. I've got the tiddlywinks. <laughs> tiddlywinks? Tiddly stinks more like. Don't be horrid, Henry. I didn't say that, Henry. Well then, are we going in the car? No. <sighs> Told you so. It's family fresh air day today, Henry. Remember? Oh, how could I forget? Oh, at last we're here. Yes, the perfect spot. Hmm, <sighs> smell that fresh air. It's a bit smelly here, Dad. Hmm. You're right, Peter. It is a bit smelly. There's another perfect spot over there. Hey! Is anyone going to help me with this lot? <sighs> well, I guess not. It's so easy being me. I'm Steady. Wait for it, lad. You know what you're writing? Yes, Miss Battleaxe's lessons are not boring with bells on. In code. Right, lad. Now, go! Hmm, not bad, lad. You did that in 33 minutes and 29 seconds. <laughs> not bad at all. And let this be a lesson to you. No more code cracking, Henry. We've got to crack this code, Henry. I know, but it's not like anything I've ever seen before. So what do we do now? We've tried everything. Time to call in the expert. Hmm. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. We know that already. Do you think you can do it, Peter? <sighs> I'll have a go, but I might need reinforcements. Hmm, it's not like anything we've ever seen before, but we'll have a go. Boys can do anything! What are you doing? Oh, it's a little ritual we have. We always do it before we set off on an important mission. Get a move on, will you? We'll leave them to it, shall we? Yeah. Seriously strange, aren't they? Too right. Look at them. Code crackers extraordinaire. And what can we do? Come on, Ralph. You're one of the most talented kids I know. Well, yeah. If you count being able to fart the alphabet as a talent. Oh, I do. I do. A. B. C. <laughs> hmm. Those two are up to something. Yeah, up to something. 
The pigeon has definitely taken off. Yeah. You what? I said the pigeon has taken off. Yeah. I've got no idea what you're talking about, Margaret. Ugh! Don't you know anything, Susan? I am talking in code. Yeah, I see. No, I don't. Oh, it goes like this. I say something in code and you answer me back in code and that way the enemy... Yeah, the enemy... The enemy doesn't know what we're talking about. Yeah! It's so easy being me. I'm Mum says it's time to get up. Mum says you have to get up now. Mum says if you don't get up right away, you will never read another Grush Class Zero comic. Never watch another TV program. I think she means it, Henry. Right at night. <laughs> Henry. What's that painty smell? Uh, that's Lady High Excellent Majesty to you, Susan. Oh, uh, Margaret's painting her playhouse. Oh, I see. Henry, have you been thinking about why we took all your things away? Yes, Mum. And 
and you won't do it again? No, Mum. Well, in that case, I suppose you've been punished enough. You can come out of your room now. Yes! And for heaven's sake, close your bedroom window. Yes! Freedom! <laughs> oh, look! A horrible monster! Ah, oh, it's so ugly! And you know what? He's pretty ugly too! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. What are you two doing here anyway? Uh, in case you've forgotten, I'm the leader of the Purple Hand Gang today. And tomorrow. And we want to know how you're going to get your revenge on Peter. It's got to be something mega, mega spectacular. Yeah, but no one can know it was me or I'll be in even more trouble. Ha! Can't believe Peter thought this was a real alien. <laughs> Peter believes... Anything. La, 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 Huh? We interrupt this program with an urgent news flash. The Earth has been invaded by aliens. Oh, no! Oh, no! What? from the invaders. You must paint your face and the outside of your house blue. Dumpty dumpty dum. Dumpty dum. What? Dad! Peter! Are you responsible for this? Yes! It's so easy being me, I'm Henry. Hey, Henry. Hi, Ralph. How was it? Oh, you know, another day, another double detention, and no pocket money for another month. Yeah, well, I've got something I want to show you. Cool. What's that? I finally found something I can be good at. Check this out. The meanest, most mega cool air guitar competition in the whole wide world? Cool! Ha, I bet I can win that no contest! Yeah, right. See ya, Henry. Hey, Ralph, wait! Did you say it was something you could be good at? Well, yeah. I thought maybe I could, but you're right. You're the meanest air guitarist round here. You're bound to win. Oh, yeah, maybe I would if I was in the contest. But, see, I'm not going to be in the contest, am I? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be coaching you, aren't I? Oh, really? You do that for me, Henry? What are friends for, Ralph? Cool! Thanks, Henry. Trust me, Ralph. You're going to be the meanest, most mega cool air guitarist in the whole wide world! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> How did I do? Well, not, not bad, Ralph, but we're going to have to do some work. OK, where do we begin? We'll begin with the big one, the air cracker. be that good. Now listen to me, Ralph. You will be this good and better. You've just got to believe in yourself. And when you believe in yourself, nothing can stop you. Nothing except the triple G. <laughs> what do you mean the triple G is going to win the meanest, most
most mega cool air guitar competition in the whole wide world. I mean, the Triple G is going to win the meanest, most mega cool air guitar competition in the whole wide world. <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, he is. Isn't. Is. Isn't, isn't, isn't. Who's the Triple G, Margaret? Yeah, who's the Triple G anyway, Margaret? Only the most talented artist I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And he's the meanest, most mega cool air guitarist in the whole wide world. Is he? Don't listen to her, Ralph. She's trying to undermine you, to break your confidence. But if he really is the meanest, most mega cool air guitarist in the whole wide world... Listen to me, Ralph. He isn't. How do you know, Henry? You don't even know who he is. True. But I know how good you can be, Ralph. So don't give up now. I'm sorry, Henry. OK, slug bots. This time it's personal. You bet it is, Turtle Toad. It's so easy being me. I'm home.